What's going on you guys? It's your Huggable Hipster here and welcome to my new updated desk tour. The desk tour that you guys saw previous was the kind of first installment of it. Ever since I got the PS5, I got some new accoutrements, I got some new things that really kind of liven up my space a bit. So I thought, you know what, it's gonna be a really good idea to do an updated desk tour for you guys. Also just keep in mind when I do start the video for the desk tour, the audio will change because I will be just primarily filming with this since it's going to capture both audio and video. But yeah, enjoy the video, you guys. Hey guys, so this is uh, this is everything in its entirety. I'm going to go over piece by piece of what we have going on here for the desk tour. Keep in mind, this desk tour is still in my bedroom. I'm not going to show you anything else, just the desk, you know, for privacy reasons. So uh, first off, we have here the Animal Crossing's Switch version, which was one of my very first major purchases besides the... Uh, Besides the Switch Lite. Here, I should probably dock this actually, considering that it's lower battery a little bit. Is the lower battery? No, actually, it's doing quite well. I'm proud of me. So uh, then we got the dock for the PS5 charger. We have Geralt. I keep having to switch back and forth between autofocus and manual focus because one thing I don't like about this uh, DSLR is that it doesn't have just a regular autofocus. It just. You know, you have to either manual or hold, like press and hold for the autofocus, which is kind of annoying. So then we have some wall art going on over here for Stray, Raccoon City, Hollow Knight, Doom stuff, because I am a big fan of Doom. Coffee Talk, it is one of my favorite games ever on the Switch. And then we have Pyramid Head and uh, Norman Reedus over here, gotta love them. And they got the PlayStation logo over here because as you all know, I am a shill for PlayStation, uh, according to, you know, people on Twitter. Then we got the PS5, Xbox Series X, the beefy PC, which I, okay, I love that it has light switches here. I can just automatically change whenever I want to. Um, we're gonna keep it on. Which one? Ah, let's keep it on the pink for right now. And then the <laughs> the massive shelf of all of the physical copies that I own. I think there's almost a hundred games here on this shelf, to be honest. The Metroid Dread showing up for a little bit of action over here. Little Nightmares. This is actually by far one of my favorite pieces that I've collected over the years. This is the only PSP game I own, actually, and I don't even own a PSP. There was only one copy left, and I wasn't going to let anyone else have it. I have all the PlayStation games. I'm just speeding through this because I'm not going to go through all the titles. Xbox, you, it's, yeah, there's just a lot. Uh, before I even sit down to show you guys the desk, this is the chair that I currently own. It is a Downix. It is wonderful. It is one of the, by far, the comfiest chairs I have ever gotten for gaming and productivity. It's wonderful. So this is the PC. Um, all of my specs for my PC are down in the description below, so if you guys want to check it out and if you're building your own PC and you want to just, you know, copy off of mine, I'm not gatekeeping anything, so you guys can use that as inspiration or if you want to buy anything from there. Um, I don't have affiliate links or anything like that. I don't have any links to any of the stuff, but if you just copy and paste the name from the description, it'll take you right to it. Now, th <laughs> this looks a little bit like a mess. Um, it's an organized mess. It's my own personal organization. Um, this is by far the best capture card, capture device I want to say that I've ever used. It's the Flint D4P. I have this here so I can switch either between uh, having a dual monitor set up so I can do that for streaming or for recording PC games, whatever it may be, or to plug it back in here for uh, console recording and all that good stuff. So if you plop that wire right in there and you turn this on, it doesn't have a continuous flow, but it'll show up as the same screen on here because that way I can get more work done for video editing. It's a must for articles. If I'm writing more than one, it's great to lay them all out so I can see exactly what I'm doing. So then we have the headset gang over here. Uh, I have my handy dandy Razer one. I've had this for a couple of years now. It's my tried and true. It's my go-to one. Uh, this is the Logitech one. I mainly use this for video editing. I use that one for gameplay. So whenever I'm video editing or if I'm listening to music and I'm cleaning the kitchen, like I'll normally use that headset. This is the go-to Elgato Stream Deck. 
I love this thing, it is my baby, it is wonderful. Then of course, more USBs, because how can you call yourself a YouTuber if you don't have multiple places for USBs? Then I have by far the best microphone on the market today. Um, I, I say it's the best microphone on the market today, it's a Blue Yeti. It, for me, it is the best, it is wonderful. You can do so much with it, it's just, it's, it's, it, it's wonderful. Then I have the beauty, the wondrous, the, the splendiferousness of this keyboard. I absolutely love it. I know I said this in my review for it, but this is the best keyboard I've ever used for gaming and for my productivity. Look at the aesthetics. Look at that. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Autofocus. Uh, look at the aesthetics. Look at the lights. Look at the... Uh, I love it. And this is also, by the way, this is uh, Logitech. Camera focus. Logitech. Mouse is Logitech. Blue is Logitech. <laughs> the uh, headset over here in the back is uh, Logitech. I'm not sponsored by them. Uh, would love to be, but I yeah, I just love Logitech stuff. The um, the mouse pad is from Razer. The headset from Razer. Um, not sponsored by Razer at all. Again, love their stuff. I feel like I have to say I'm not sponsored by anything because I, if I don't, I'll just get into trouble. <laughs> and then we have the lovely Jivoom. I have to charge this, but I absolutely love this. This is the uh, best little computer companion I've ever used. It's, it's adorable. It matches my aesthetic. I love it. And then as we go over here, we have the, uh, the dual <laughs> ring lights. This is actually, this ring light was uh, sent to me, not by Elgato, but by my buddy Travis. Thank you, Travis. Love you, dude. You're awesome. And this one I just recently got. This one I got at Walmart for, hold on a second, I got it for $49. Wasn't cheap, but it comes in different color modes. Uh, the brightest light I've ever had uh, uh, just on my face. It was wonderful. There's different settings you can use. It, it's it's pretty cool. It has like different color modes, it has different light modes. It's really, I, I think, beneficial to have different color modes because Instagram posts just become a lot more aesthetic. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of shallow, but it's very true. Whenever you're marketing different posts and you're um, marketing things on Twitter or whatever it is that you're doing, you want things to look aesthetically pleasing. So I feel like that, you know, besides the post itself, that's the aim. You want things to look pretty besides the information that you're giving to the person. But yeah, you guys, that was the desk tour. Um, it's, I, I keep my desk neat. I keep it clean because that's just my personality. I'm type A, so I need everything to be in order, in focus. And then if my desk is a mess, my mind is a mess. So I don't need anything to be messy or in a mishap or anything like that. But yeah, that was my desk tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you all like my face and what I do, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell down below. I make videos every day here on YouTube. May you find your worth in the waking world, dear hunter. Stay casually nerdy, and I will see you all in the next video. Mbasa.